Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Mortal Kombat 11. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to grab the Get Over Here achievement slash trophy for spearing 50 hanging bodies in the crypt. From the main menu, you're going to want to select the crypt game mode and then feel free to watch the intro cinematic or you actually can't skip it, so I don't know why I said that. But afterwards, you should gain control of your character. Additionally, if you're inverted, make sure you change that through the main menu. Now, chances are you've probably already done some of these first steps. In the first room, make sure you open up both of the chests. Each one should reward you with 50,000 coins, which is a great way to start with 100,000. We will actually need some of these coins as well for some of the other stuff we're going to grab. And then after you grab both of these, you can basically just walk forward through the gate in front of you and interact with the table in order to pick up the giant hammer. After picking up the hammer, you can use the X button on Xbox or the square button on PlayStation to swing through the gate in order to open up the courtyard. In the courtyard, you can swing around to the left and kind of go behind this little pagoda. And you can swing through the cracked wall in order to make your way into this area where you will find a gong. Swing your hammer on the gong to unlock your first achievement or trophy related to the crypt. Also, one thing you want to keep in mind is that holding the left trigger allows you to sprint. There is another achievement or trophy for sprinting a total of five miles and it'll let you navigate the crypt a lot faster. Now you wanna make your way back to the courtyard and go and run towards the moon. Going through these gates, you should notice a forge to your left. As you approach it, it will automatically start a small forge introduction. However, for the most part, we will be completely ignoring this. While a modest endeavor, this forge is my finest. Transmute collected items into new items you might find more useful. Continue past the forge and take the small path on the right hand side. This will allow you to kind of get behind some things that you wouldn't otherwise get to. And as you kind of enter this area behind the tree, you'll notice a giant shrine in front of you. This shrine also has an achievement or trophy related to it, so we're going to grab it while we are here. Basically, what you need to do is donate 50,000 coins to this shrine to unlock an achievement or trophy. One thing you can keep in mind here is that I'll show you is that uh, each donation gives you a different reward. So if you want to sit here and donate 10,000 coins at a time, you'll get five rewards. But if you just want to grab the achievement or trophy and go, you can just donate 50,000 coins at a time. Uh, so basically, I donated 1,000 to get the amulet, which we will need. And then I'm just going to donate the rest of the 49,000 to make 50,000 and unlock my achievement or trophy. Then after doing that, we can go and start running kind of towards the courtyard again in that general direction. If we're facing the shrine, it'll be to our right hand side. As we do that, a meteor will come and go through the statue of Raiden landing in front of us. We can go up to that meteorite and press X to use the Warhammer and swing it on the meteorite to open it up and reveal an item inside. This shrine is where I fought Liu Kang. Rather than taste final victory, I was forced... You will get the Gem of the Living from that meteor, and you'll also notice that Raiden's statue is locked. If you want to repair it and get his staff, what you'll need to do is complete the four tutorials in the Towers of Time. Anyways, go behind that statue, you'll find a gong that you can ring, which will now open up another gate, allowing you to lead back into the courtyard. So now what we'll want to do is head back into the courtyard. We have the gem of the living, which allows us to now open a door that was previously locked. So we have to basically shoot across the entire courtyard and go back to that original gong we rang. And now there's a door to the left of it, which we can interact with. So you're going to see that we're kind of running past this pagoda thing on the right hand side, keeping to the left when we enter this area. And we can now interact with this door in order to open it to reveal a new area. I believe this area is called the gardens. We'll see it change in the bottom left if uh, I am right. This is called the balance door, by the way. All these little doors and things will also unlock some credits for us here and there. So keep that in mind. Run into the gardens, swing your way past the door that allows us to break in. 
There is a lever here that we can pull in order to open the doors. And what we want to do is go into the right hand side and pick up the item, which is the Horn of Mataro. This horn is a necessary key crypt item for us to proceed. Now what we need to do is now shoot across the courtyard all the way back to where we came from. We can open up a passage that links back instead of going all the way around. So go through the courtyard into the warrior shrine. The, there is an achievement or trophy in the warrior shrine if you want to grab it. I do have a separate video for that as it takes quite a while to earn. But you will see this giant gate at the end of the walkway where you can interact with it, giving it the horn in order to open the doors. Once the doors do open, you're going to want to head inside and follow the path down to a small kind of elevator or, uh, you know, a shaft. And uh, you can interact with it in order to go down into Goro's lair. So once inside this underground area, just run forward. You'll notice Goro in a stone throne, and you will get a, a small little cutscene here. And what we want to do after that is head to the door to the right-hand side. There's other doors we can go through, but there's not really a point of going through them quite yet, as we're trying to get all the uh, key items we need to get the spears and stuff. So go to the right-hand side, you'll go through Goro's lair, and you will end up in a room called... Uh, we'll see what it's called in the bottom left here in a sec. We do have to pull this chain in order to open the door. And this room is called the Armory. And at the end of the Armory, you can find basically Scorpion's uh, little dagger spears, whatever they're called. Um, and at that point, the door will lock behind you. And it will give you a small little tutorial on how these basically work. So if you find a certain item, you can press Y or Triangle on PlayStation to basically shoot your chains and interact with something. And there are a couple of things you can interact with. Number one is the hanging bodies, which we'll be doing for the achievement here. But you can also interact with the skulls in order to uh, put them out, which will open up certain chests for you. But basically what we want to do is now find the 50 hanging bodies. And the hanging bodies can be found pretty much everywhere. But there's a couple of key locations. In Goro's throne room, you can usually find about two or three, sometimes four. It's not always the exact same uh, spawn locations for everyone. So you'll want to probably grab three or four in Goro's throne room. From there, go to the left of the throne. And what we can do here is go to the next room. This is basically a giant eating area. And in this area, we can also find another four or five hanging bodies. So there will usually be one up and to the left of where we entered, and then there will usually be one up and to the right. There will usually be one by the statue at the far end. There will be one usually kind of on the left here that I'm grabbing right now. You just want to work your way through this room and make sure you grab all of them. I would recommend just kind of spamming the Y button. Sometimes you can't actually see the hanging bodies very well. So it'll kind of automatically grab them for you if uh, you don't see them as long as they are within range, which can be very helpful. Now, at some point in the dining hall, you're going to want to go up here and pull this chain in order to open up a door that reveals a walkway to another elevator. And this elevator will actually take you down. This will basically bring us to another area where we're able to unlock another key crypt item. But additionally, in this area, you can also grab another two or three or four hanging bodies on the trees nearby. So we'll want to make sure to grab those before we leave and kind of head back towards where we came from. Now that we've unlocked Ermac's amulet, we will be able to interact with certain piles of rubble that glow a green color. This will allow us to move things in order to solve puzzles. It'll also allow us to earn coins and I think souls. And it'll allow us to also spend our souls on any of the green statues around the map. 
I believe they always end up giving you some type of cosmetic for a character. Now at this point we want to ride the elevator kind of back down into the dining hall and we want to start heading towards uh, the exit or basically the way we got in. That's kind of where we want to get to so we're going to go through the dining hall, through the throne room and then into the great hall and before we exit there's something we're going to want to grab. Also it should be noted that I would recommend grabbing as many bodies as you can on your first kind of run through here in general but you don't have to grab every single one. There's actually not enough bodies to get to 50. We have to kind of uh, do something at the end to make sure we can get more than 50. It's not very uh, difficult to understand or do. It's just you want to keep that in mind. You can't get all 50 kind of in one run. As you're going through the Great Hall towards the exit, go to the right-hand side. You'll notice another chain we can pull in order to open up another door here. This door leads to an area that looks kind of like a library or some kind of, uh, you know, social gathering place, but it actually doesn't have its own name. Inside of this room, I think you can find exactly two, sometimes three bodies, so you'll want to grab them. At this point, we basically just want to run back to the courtyard, so get out this door, take a right-hand turn, and then take the elevator up. Once you're here, there's kind of going to be bodies everywhere. If you go down into the right, kind of past the gong we rang here, you can find one usually on the tree to the right-hand side. You have to actually kind of get down near them in order to grab it, though. And then we can kind of work our way back up to the warrior shrine. So as we get up to the warrior shrine, there are going to be, like, basically a ton of bodies kind of hanging everywhere. And you don't have to go in, like, a particular order. I just kind of went in a random order that I thought would be the fastest. So here near the warrior shrine, there's going to be one in the gateway towards the courtyard. And then I'm going to start running towards the courtyard, but I'm actually going to turn back here and run towards the shrine where we donated the 50,000 coins. There's usually another two bodies hanging in the doorways near the shrine. There's usually a body to the left of the shrine and one to the right of the shrine. So there's kind of four bodies right next to the shrine. And then at that point, we can either double back uh, to the courtyard or we can kind of go towards the forge. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go into the kind of back path here. And uh, there's one more body next to this door. There's also a staircase that leads downward, but no bodies are there. So we're going to basically double back to the courtyard now. And we're going to do that through the warrior shrine instead of through the forge. And inside of the courtyard, there are usually like seven or eight bodies, depending on what you count as the courtyard. So there's kind of usually four in the middle. There are usually two that are kind of hanging out on their own on the outskirts. There are a couple in the doorways. And there are three in the kind of pagoda thing that we were talking about earlier. So we're going to basically kind of run around and grab a bunch. I am going to actually miss a few, but again, that's totally fine if you miss some or if yours are in slightly different locations than mine. I'm going to quickly run out here to the forge just to grab these so I don't have to worry about them later. And we're basically going to run to that first gong we rang at the very beginning. So once we're back in the courtyard here, up to that pagoda thing I was talking about, you can usually find like two bodies hanging out around front, and then you can usually find one hanging out around back. 
The one in the back you can only kind of get from down and below and behind this area. So you can kind of see it sometimes hanging around, but you can't grab it until you're kind of shooting at it from a certain angle. It's actually almost on my screen right there, but we can uh, smash through these vases as well in order to grab it, kind of hanging out around here. Then we're going to work our way back into the gardens, and the gardens will also have a couple of these bodies. And then we can work our way back to where we found the Horn of Mataro, where there will be a couple of more bodies, usually around three or four. And at that point, you can either you've been counting along to see how many you have, or if you're on Xbox, you can just open up your achievements and see the achievement tracking to see how many you have out of 50 based on the percentage. And at that point, you can either kind of keep running around and keep trying to look for bodies you may have not found. Generally speaking, I think there's around 35 to 37 bodies uh, littered around the crypt. And at that point, what you can do is you can go to the main menu of the game, quit out of the crypt, and load the crypt back up. Every time you load the crypt back up, some of the bodies will respawn, usually only around 3 to 5 per playthrough. I would highly recommend going to the courtyard before you exit the crypt, as when you respawn, you will respawn in the area you were in last. So it's best to respawn in the courtyard every time as the courtyard is most likely to have the most bodies for you. So you quit the mode, you, e you enter the mode, you get as many bodies as you can. You can sometimes go down to the lair and grab those bodies if you feel like it. You can just kind of stick around the courtyard if you prefer doing that. And every time you load in and out, you should be able to grab a couple of more bodies until you get to 50 and your achievement or trophy unlocks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the video was helpful. A special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And a shout out to Double O. Hopefully, I see you guys soon. Peace.